students this is a video of biology class 12 unit number 1 that is reproduction and chapter number 2 that is sexual reproduction is angiosperm and the topic today we will discuss about the structure of gamega gametophyte student in my previous video i have discussed with you about cross pollination and in today's video i will discuss with you about the mega gametophyte right as we already did what is my mega sporogenesis and everything but today i will discuss with you a little bit of mega gametophyte so that you have an idea what is a mega gametophyte we have okay and how it will be formed so let's begin with our topic that is mega gametogenesis or mega sporogenesis or the structure of female gametophyte all of them have same meaning okay so let's start basically formation of female part in a flower is known as mega sporogenesis right and mega spores are formed inside the mega sporangium what happened firstly ovule if you remember we did ovule the structure of ovule inside there is a new cells and the outermost uh, layers we called it as integuments if you have idea we did it right properly so what happened ovule differentiated ovule will differentiate and form mmc which we called as mega spore mother cell which we called as mega spore mother cell students mmc mega spore mother cells undergoes meiosis when mmc undergoes meiosis we are having four mega spores we are having a four mega spores right in four mega spore we called it as mega spore tetrad what we call we called it as mega spore tetrad students one of these mega spore develop into a female gametophyte out of them only one act as a what female gametophyte the other one like the four are formed one will act as a female gametophyte whereas rest three they will degenerate they will degenerate students okay and only the basal mega spore remain functional and develop into a female gametophyte now we have to understand how this will happen okay so in this process the formation of ambrosac from a single mega spore is termed as monosporic development if you remember we did it monosporic biosporic tetrasporic right so try to understand this development in this video first of all what happened nucleus undergo mitotic division nucleus of mmc which is functional it undergo mitotic division so two nucleate ambrosac is formed after that nucleus again undergo mitotic division again then four four nucleate ambrosac is formed again nucleus again goes into the mitotic division from four now we are having eight from four now we are having the eight one students right so after that cell wall formation is start and this is how the ambrosac will form try to understand mmc undergo meiosis and form four mega spore out of these four mega spore only one become functional whereas rest of three will degenerate students and the which one is functional it undergo further division like firstly one nucleus go into the mitotic it will produce two then two nucleus undergo mitotic it will produce four then four undergo in a meiosis and it will produce eight this is the structure of ambrosac now if i will discuss the basic structure of ambrosac we have so the nuclei formed inside get rearranged to form the final structure of ambrosac which is just as follows Firstly, there is a egg apparatus in which there are two synergies and one egg cell. Two synergies and one egg cell. Okay. After that, we have a further like three cells are used. Next three cells are form the antipodals on the other side. Next three makes antipodals 
on other side students right whereas antipodal is located at a chalazal end and synergid and egg is situated at a micropylar end okay then 3 and 3 6 we use we will make 8 if you remember 6 we already used to our left to become in the center to become in the center which will become the center cell or which we called as polar nuclei which we called as a polar nuclei students so this is a structure of embryo sac and how it will be formed now embryo sac is basically a female gametophyte it is a mega gametophyte in which both the male gamete comes because you have to understand this structure then you are able to understand the process of fertilization in the next video if you are able to understand this structure okay so this is all about this video however winding up this video however before winding up this video let's have a quick recap that is what we have discussed in today's video that is the structure of mega gametophyte like firstly students what happened mmc which means mega microspore mother cell mega spore mother cell it will undergo meiosis and form four haploid mega spore out of these four only one become functional and the rest three become degenerate and the functional mega spore students it further undergoes mitotic division first mitotic division form two next mitotic division form four and next is form eight and these eight are rearranging in the micros in the micro spore or these eight are rearranging in the mega spore students and we are getting mature embryo sac that is seven cell but eight nucleate okay three will become antipodal they are situated at the chalazal end rest three out of like less three will on the micropylar end one is a ang and two are synergid and the rest two which comes in the center they become the polar nuclei so this is a structure of embryo sac we have still if you have any of the confusion in your mind any doubt in your mind just jot down and write down in the comment box so that i will help you i will assist you if you have any doubt and you are always welcome with the doubts in my class okay so thank you very much students i hope you like this video and definitely watch my next video which is on topic fertilization so that we are finishing this chapter sexual reproduction in flowers thank you very much bye bye keep watching